If you believe in something, you have to go for it because it's true what they say. One piece of content can change your entire life. What's going on guys? My name is Zach Kincaid and today I'm going to tell you a story about how I, a small creator with less than 500 subscribers at the time, landed a gig working for a multi-platinum recording artist known as Joyner Lucas. So it really all started back when I graduated from college. I, like most people, went to a four-year university where I perfected my craft. I thought I had this incredible skill set that everyone would find valuable, but when it came down to it, I had no experience and therefore no one would hire me. And it's a problem that a lot of recent grads, especially those in the creative field, face and it's how do I get the experience I need to get the job if I can't get the job? And in reality, you just have to start and do it yourself. So after college with no jobs lined up, I had a four year degree and I was working for a cookie delivery company, delivering cookies to people in Nashville. Needless to say, it was an extremely humbling experience because I had just spent so much money on this degree that was supposed to get me a job and I didn't really understand it and my parents sure as hell did not understand why I couldn't get a job. So after working for the cookie company for a couple of months, I finally landed a job that required at least some form of degree working inside sales and it was my first what I would call a big boy job that required my degree. And by big boy job, I don't mean that I was better than anyone who was delivering cookies, but I just meant it was more of a job in line with having a degree and it was what was considered acceptable for my family. But even working that job, I was miserable because it, it wasn't what I wanted to do. It wasn't where my heart was and I knew that something had to be done because I could not do this. I could not do sales the rest of my life. So what I decided to do was start working more on YouTube and I had created this YouTube channel my senior year of college just to kind of document my life with my friends. This channel used to be a car channel and that's because it was really just something I got to do with my friends and have fun. A lot of my friends growing up were really into cars. I'm really into modding cars. So we decided let's just do this and have fun together. And that's all this was. I never really thought of using it as a way to not only be a business, but to market myself as a creator. That all changed with one video. I remember I was sitting in the bedroom of my childhood home because I had to leave my apartment that I couldn't afford anymore. And I see Joyner Lucas's ISIS video and at the very end of it, it said written and distributed on Tully. So after watching the music video, I dove into the app and I created a YouTube video on it talking about why I thought every artist should have it. And I had less than 50 subscribers at the time. And honestly, that video kind of flopped at once. And so the short term growth on it was nothing. But what I didn't know is that it would actually pick up and be one of my best performing videos of all time. So fast forward two years to March of 2020, where I was laid off from my job because of COVID-19. Really didn't know where my next move was. So I decided let's just make more content for YouTube because it was something I enjoyed doing. And so I created another video about how Tully was acquired by Sony. I made a song from start to finish using one of Tully's free beats and these videos started to gain a little bit of traction to the point where I was contacted by a representative of Joyner Lucas. They told me that Dhruv and Joyner had seen my first video that I'd made literally about a year and a half ago at this time and that they were interested in speaking to me. I think I had less than 250 subscribers at the time. The number really doesn't matter. What does matter is I was a no name. And the next thing I knew, I was on FaceTime calls with Joyner Lucas's manager talking about the Tully app and where I thought it should go. I had no experience in this field. Yes, I had worked a couple of events shooting for iHeartMedia just because I had a camera. I was walking around filming stuff, but it was never something where people wanted my professional input. Because to be honest, I didn't have a professional input. So after that call, he said he was impressed and they offered me a contract to work for them full time making videos. I never once thought that I would even know these kind of people that are plugged into the industry this well. All of those places that had told me in the past that I didn't have experience, now wanted to work with me because I had finally built a portfolio working for Joyner. And so we decided to end that contract and I accepted a position as a content strategist working for a company that works for Hulu, Capital One, Sony, 
big name people. And I'm still underqualified, but what they saw was my passion and enthusiasm for creating content and learning how to be successful. And that is the point I want you to take away from this entire video. It's not about what kind of training you have, whether you have a degree, whether you do this, or not even really about who you know. It comes down to are you creating content? Are you constantly working on yourself and putting yourself out there? Because I guarantee if you do that long enough, results will start coming back to you. And your life could literally be changed with one piece of content. And I know that because mine was. If it was not for this YouTube channel, for all of the people who have watched my videos, for those of you who have subscribed, I would have never learned any of what I know now. So for those of you who are subscribed and have been watching me for a while now, I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart because even though at the time of this recording I have less than 2,000 subscribers, I can say that for the past year and for the foreseeable future, I am a full-time creative now. And I couldn't be happier. So if you believe in something, go for it. Put yourself out there. You really never know who's gonna see it or what kind of doors it could open up. So if you've enjoyed this video or you found it even the least bit inspiring, please leave a like. If you wanna see more videos like this or if you want me to go deeper into how I've gotten where I am now and how you can possibly do the same thing, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all of the support. It means more than you will ever know, even though it's just a small number of you. That's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one.